Hello, I'm Joe from Wacom, and I'm going to walk you through the setup of the Express Keys and Touch Ring on your Intuos 4. If you haven't installed the driver for your Intuos 4, be sure to do so now. The driver is available in the box on the driver CD, or you can always download the latest driver on the Wacom website. Choose Install Tablet, and it will automatically launch and then walk you through the setup process. The Intuos 4 is specifically designed for creative professionals. It has a number of unique controls that you can customize to maximize your productivity and speed your workflow. Today, I'm going to explain how you can set up three of these controls, the express keys, the touch ring, and the side switches on the pen. Customizing these controls in the Wacom control panel allows you to create shortcuts to the functions you use most. They can save you a lot of time, and they're easy to set up. On the Intuos 4, these are the express keys. You'll see eight express keys and a corresponding illuminated display on all Intuos 4 tablet sizes except the small. On the small, you'll see six express keys and no illuminated displays. This is the touch ring. And this is the Intuos 4 grip pen, which has two programmable side switches. Wacom has preset these for you, but you have the ability to set them up any way you want. It's pretty easy to make adjustments in the control panel, so let's start by getting acclimated. First, open your Wacom tablet properties. On a Mac, go to your Apple menu, System Preferences, and choose Wacom Tablet. On a PC, go to your Start menu, All Programs, Wacom Tablet, and Wacom Tablet Properties. Here you'll see some tabs and pull-down menus that allow you to customize your pen and tablet. At the top is the Tablet List. This will show any of the tablets you currently have set up on your computer. If you have more than one, you'll need to make sure you have the one selected that you want to customize before moving on to the tool list. Next is the tools list, which allows you to switch between any tools that have been set up to work with your Intuos, like the pen and the mouse that come with it. If you have any of our other additional accessories, they'll appear here as well. Finally, you'll see the applications list. By default, you'll notice it says All, meaning that any adjustments you're going to make will apply to all applications. If you want to adjust the settings for a specific application, such as Photoshop, you can do that too. For example, I can program my Express Keys to do one thing in Photoshop, but another thing entirely in Corel Painter. Let's change the function for an Express Key for all applications. One of the most commonly used keyboard shortcuts for all applications is Command or Control Z for Undo. To set this up, choose Functions in the Tools list, choose the Express Key tab, and then choose the Express Key that we want to modify and make the choice from the pull-down menu. Select Keystroke. Define the keystroke by using the keys exactly as if you were using the key in your application so I would hold down the control or command key and press the letter Z. Then we're asked to name it, and here we just call it Undo. Click OK, and we're done. That's all it takes to complete a global change. To create a setting for a specific application, make sure that the application you want to customize is open. In this case, I'm going to open Photoshop. Make sure that the tool you want to customize is selected. I'm modifying my pen. To the right of the Applications list, you'll see a plus sign. Go ahead and click on it. You'll see a list of your open applications. Select your application, 